So the key factors that affect the risk of impact from climate change, um, the first one is, is how severe the climate change is. Uh, so if we've got um, very severe rainfall uh, or we've got uh, really severe droughts or heat waves, then that's obviously uh, a risk. Um, and as climate change intensifies, if we don't deal with climate change in terms of mitigation, so cutting emissions, then that kind of increases that side of the risk equation. But the other really important one, part of the risk equation, is resilience. How well can we adapt? Have we got um, good systems to keep the elderly cool when we have a heat wave, for instance? Have we got places uh, where we can protect people if there is flooding, so ways to move people to higher ground. How quickly can we bounce back? So when we look at the risk, the climate risk, it's looking OK at the physical changes and we know they could be quite severe. But the actual impact is all about how well we can respond to them. And that's where we've got a real opportunity. It's yes, we can address climate change through cutting emissions, through mitigation, reducing just how much climate change we get. But a key part of it is also increasing our resilience, our bounce back ability. How well can we put in flood defences? How well can we increase food security, human health provision, so that when we have these impacts, we can protect people, we can protect the, the, the uh, wildlife, the, the environment we're in, and actually bounce back from the impact much more quickly.